Welcome to another Telltale Books video. I'm Greg, and I'm going to continue my James Blish series with this video, covering what's actually his seventh published work, titled Emergency Refueling. Now, his first six stories were all part of this series about this um, guy named the Planeteer, and it, and it was really a self-published fanzine about this kind of superhero. He's a good guy, but he's a bad guy, kind of like S Slippery Jim Degree, if you know that one from The Stainless Steel Rat. And uh, it was published in six parts. I read two of the parts, and the first two parts I couldn't get a hold of copies of. I was able to get a hold of parts three, four, and five. I read three and four. They weren't good at all. So I, I skipped six. And that's his first six works. And I've already covered that in a different video. I don't think those are good enough to um, advise you that even if you absolutely love everything James Blish, I, I really don't think you should spend any time on the on those planeteer stories. They're just not good. So I'm moving on to his seventh work, which was actually professionally published in the March 1940 issue of Super Science Stories, edited by Frederick Pohl, I believe. It's just a short story. And what emergency refueling is about is, well, basically that. You got two guys, spacers, they're out beyond Pluto. Their job is to run this spaceship and they're running low on fuel. Now they know that Pluto has the fuel they need just everywhere on the surface, but Pluto is quarantined. People are not supposed to stop there. It's a quarantine planet, but they're not going to make it to anything further into the solar system. It's either stop at Pluto or die. So they stop at Pluto to refuel. The story is very short. It is still pretty amateurish, but it's better than the planeteer. I got to say that. The science, very inaccurate. Well, I suppose 1940 and he was just a young person. He wasn't a seasoned astronomer or anything um, but uh, some of the science he discusses about radioactive materials is just r ludicrous it's it's just so far off of real science it's not even funny um, but otherwise if you read it it has a kind of an interesting idea I don't want to spoil it it if you if you love James Bliss, you're going to want to read it and discover it for yourself. So I, I don't want to spoil the ending. But I, I really think if you're not really into James Blish, there's not much other reason for anyone, anyone else to read Emergency Refueling. It's, it's that simple. It's that amateurish yet. It, it's not... Um, even close to a, a mature professional story. So that's Emergency Refueling. Have you ever read it? Leave your comments. I want to hear about it. Leave them in the comments section of the video for everybody to read and, and learn from. Please don't leave comments that have nothing to do with the story or James Blish. Um, if you leave comments telling me my lighting is bad, my camera is bad, my sound is bad. It's going to get deleted and you're going to get blocked because it's not your, um, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have to tell me things that are wrong with my videos. I'm not saying that I'm doing everything perfect, but it's my job to worry about that and sweat over that, not yours. Don't leave those comments. I don't want them. I really don't want them. I know my the strengths and weaknesses of these vi videos, and I'm working on what I can 
There's some things I can't do anything about because it would cost too much money, but I'm doing the best I can here. Okay, so bear with me on that. And if you just can't stand the fact that I'm not this high-end professional quality video, there's lots of other channels out there that are, you know, where the sound is better, the lighting is better, the person talks with a script so they sound more polished. Okay, go watch them. <laughs> um, but if you don't mind those, if you don't mind the idiosyncrasies of my channel, then stick with me because I got a lot more James Blish coming up. We're going to get to some really excellent works by Blish. This is just the beginning. That was his first professional publication. The next story, Request of the Angel. Again, from Super Science Stories a couple months later. That'll be coming up. That and a lot of other stories here on Telltale Books. I hope you'll join me.